In this video tutorial, I want to talk about a Mitch sampler and how you can use it to produce uh, a form like this. It's a surface based on this image that you can see here. I will also talk about uh, a technique you can use with image sampler to uh, dispatch and have two set of data so you can use it to produce uh, um, circles based on this image sampler you see here and the next part I will talk about uh, using this technique to produce two set of data and how you can uh, combine them so you can produce uh, patterns based on your image so basically this is a video tutorial about uh, the image sampler tool which you can tool which you can find in the uh, params menu and up here you have the image sampler or you can easily search it by double clicking and typing image So let's start from scratch. Uh, first, I'm going to um, let's try to produce a point here, because when we want to use the image sampler tool, um, basically what it uh, it is and what it means is let me just double click on it and explain it. So uh, if you double click, uh, you have uh, such a setting here. You can choose the file path. So I'm going to choose a file. Basically, you can. Uh, choose a gradient image uh, maybe a colorful image or whatever you want but the best is the gradient image because you can easily and smoothly transform between the colors so uh, I think that the best uh, image you can use in the image sampler is a gradient image and I will show you why the colorful images will not have a good effect or you have to produce some uh, Photoshop uh, effects on it or whatever you want. Okay, so uh, I have produced this image with Grasshopper, so uh, I will uh, teach this technique also in another Grasshopper tutorial, but let's just select this. And you can see that you have different channels here. Uh, basically, if you have a gradient or a grayscale image, you can use this one. Okay, let's zoom in. You have the color brightness which you can use for a black and white uh, channel so I'm going to use this you can also use the red channel it only uh, outputs the red channel uh, basically the first is the RGB so let's just talk about RGB here so it's the red green and a blue channel combined so we have an RGB you can uh, have the red channel or the green channel or the blue channel if you have a gradient or you're working with these colors uh, separately so you can use these you can have the transparency one if you're working with an image that has an alpha channel as a transparency here you can use the color hue uh, if you're going to uh, another set of colors and the last is the color saturation but basically the best is for the brightness of the image we, we are not going to change this X domain and Y domain because it's based on the 0101 and I'm going to explain this and what happens okay let's go for the OK you can also see that it auto updates if you have the tick up, uh, have this checked uh, the image will be auto updated if you change it in a, another program or whatever you're working and if you save in the file you will have this image in your grasshopper file okay so uh, what is an image sampler let me just explain it here so image sampler is uh, basically a simple tool which will use a two-dimensional coordinate so we have two axes here so basically this is 0 to 1 and this is 0 to 1 and uh, what happens here is in this corner we have the 0 0 coordinate up here we have the 1 1 coordinate and here we have the 1 0 and we have uh, 0 1 so uh, whenever you want to uh, have the output from the image sampler you have to give it a UV coordinate so 
the UV coordinate is very important. If you don't know about the UV coordinate, feel free to check the uh, evaluate surface video. I've talked about UV coordinate and what it meant, uh, what it means, how you can use the UV coordinate, and it's a little bit different from the XY coordinate uh, X or XYZ coordinate we have uh, in the main canvas. So uh, for a simple one, let's check this out. If I give an MD slider, which is, sim which is a simple tool you can use for a UV coordinate, and let's just connect a panel to this, you can see that we are extracting the color of these uh, coordinates by this UV coordinate, okay? So you can see if I change this to the corner, we have a brighter one. If we come here, we have a darker one and basically you can ch see the changing data here okay so this is the basic of the image sampler which you have to understand to work with it so we have to uh, connect a UV coordinate to the image sampler so we can use it uh, as the data and work with it so what I'm going to do here is let's have an exercise with some points here I'm going to go to the vector section and I'm going to use a point here so it's a construct point tool okay and here we go we have a, a zero 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 we just go from the top a zero 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 coordinate here and if we connect this to the image sample we have uh, output of this uh, color okay we don't want this let's just go for an array I'm going to make copy of this point with an array uh, a rectangular array you can go for the array rectangular array let's just array this point and we need a cell rectangular cell here I'm going to give it a rectangle okay and let's just give it a size I'm going to give it a equal size for X and Y okay so this is basically the size and here we go the X count maybe 50 to 50 because more points mean more data on the image sampler so I'm going to give it 2500 points which are uh, basically our XY points so we cannot connect this to this because what will happen is those points will go out the border you know uh, we have a maximum of one to one uh, coordinate here that you can see here that we will have let's check this out we have 280 840 and those are too much so how can we just correct this there's a small and a cool technique you can use and this is tech this is the technique I'm going to type here so if we have an X Y Z coordinate so that's a point in the space and we want a UV coordinate what should we do uh, so you can easily use this tool okay let's make it go for the blue ones okay you can use the CP surface CP surface tool and a bit of a reparameterize so what will happen will you will project this point onto a surface you have a surface that is reparameterized I'm going to explain that and you will have the UV coordinate so if this let's just explain this if we have a surface here this will this point okay this point maybe it's just something like this maybe it's 200 200 but because we want to use it in the image sampler we have to have uh, this coordinate okay so it's basically a 1 1 coordinate so maybe this point it's going to be something like a 100 100 coordinate but basically what we need is something like this I'm just going to ex I'm going uh, I'm explaining this because you have to understand what a UV coordinate is based on a surface so the best way you can convert a point from an XY coordinate to a UV coordinate is to have a surface so I'm going to use the surface tool I'm going to use this bounding box and I'm going to give this bounding box to the points 
and right click on the bounding box and use a union box because I want a union box which will cover all the points okay that's a union box and you can see the surface will emerge and now we can use the technique the CP surface technique I'm going to use the surface closest point and uh, let's just project this point into the surface and this is the surface we want to project these points but remember when you're going to give the CP point CP surface technique you have to right click on the surface and choose the requirements right so first uh, mm, project those points by the surface closest point tool and give the points to the point and choose a base surface to this and um, basically you have to have the requirements rise uh, input so let's just re uh, requirements rise and here we go we have the UV coordinate and you can see here that we have from 0 0 to 1 to 1 and all the data will be between the 0 0 and 1 to 1 and that's the technique you can use to have the UV point you have also the projected point here which we don't need it's basically the same as the point because those points are on the surface and uh, it doesn't have any difference but the main technique we use the surface closest point is we have a parametrized surface we have a UV point and here we go okay low so let's go and use this UV point and connect it so we are just mapping this uh, points onto this image sampler and we have the data let's reconnect this we have a 0 to 1 data based on the uh, brightness of this image okay color brightness so we are ready to go we have everything we want and now we can use these numbers to give these points some weight so uh, the best and the easiest way you can do is to just move these points let's just MV move these points in the Z direction and if I connect this to the Z direction what will happen is that uh, basically this uh, white will go to 1 so maybe something a little bit of move here okay just the one here and the blacks are going to go to the 0 so it's near the points okay you can see here that the points are very uh, near each other okay so we need something to spice this up uh, we can do this with two techniques one is to just multiply this go to the math multiplication multiply this to maybe 25.6 give this to the Z and let's just increase that and we're going to turn off everything so we'll have the surface okay here we go and you can see that those points are moving based on this image I'm going to change this so we can check this out another one okay we're going to this face and you can see that's going to based on the picture and he will have some move here but but basically that's not a we can use this technique also but it's better to just go for the next one okay so now we have it that's why because that's why I told you to use a gradient color because you can smoothly change the data and have wait for all, for all those points and now let's go and give a surface to these points so I'm going to the surface and use this surface from points and let's give the U count basically that's the U count because we have the 50 and the 50 uh, rate points and here we go okay, let's just turn this off and here's the surface the shader points okay so you can see that let's give it a color going to the display section and going to the custom preview and let's just connect the swatch here and give it a color okay that's it. my favorite color you can see the results okay here we go you can change that 
There's another technique you can use if you want to give a minimum and the maximum you're controlling and that's using the remap tool. I've explained about the remap in the introduction, you can use that or in, in the first tutorials but I will put it also in the website so I'm going to give this the data and let's just give it from 2.5 to maybe 400 okay and use the remap technique so what uh, there's a benefit in using remap because you can change the minimum and the maximum so basically you are changing the location of those colors that's a better result and let's just okay I don't want this let's just change this to the curve and here we go you can see this let's just go to the min and the max and this is the first technique you can use there are several techniques you can uh, use for the um, image sampler let's just go and have a copy paste turn this off and come here okay what about uh, working with the points okay we can also uh, maybe just uh, draw some circles here okay we can draw circles on these points and have the radius of these circles based on the image sampler so I can go to the curve I can go to the circle I'm giving the points to the center of the circle so we will have a circle one circle with radius one in each point and then I'm going to connect this to this okay let's just turn the points off and here we go so it's a 0 0.7 to 39 radius for the circles and we can have this easily so you can see how easy it is to use the image sampler to uh, combine it with geometry or use it for the parametric design techniques we can also uh, combine this with dispatch technique which I talked about in the dispatch tutorial so how you can do it is going like this so let's just go and have it like uh, let's go to the math section and we can just check for larger or smaller so I'm going to give a larger here and say which numbers are larger than 25% uh, so there will be some of the points that are true some of which are false and in that tutorial in the dispatch tutorial I talked about dispatch which we can just dispatch these points let's just dispatch these points okay check this out this is the list A and this is the list B so we will have two lists we can use the list A for the circles and I'm going to dispatch also the data we used for the remap I'm, I'm going to explain what happened here okay maybe you're just uh, confused but let me just explain it's a simple one okay and here we go here we go and here it goes okay so what I did is I just checked the data from the image sampler is it bigger than 25 percent yes it is or no it is not so I dispatched first the points so we will have only the um, bigger than 25 percent colors coming out for the points we dispatched the points and now we also dispatched what the output of the image sampler so we will also need only the data of the color only if it's bigger than 25 percent and I remap this to only one number because I want it to be a single uh, radius for all the circles here 
so here we go let me just take this a bigger size and a bigger circle and here you see that okay we can also use the list B if we go for the list B you can see that we are choosing for the inner part of this black section so you can go here and use the list B for one circle and let's let's just change this for the another list of the list A let's just go for the list A and give it another circle here. so this is the technique you can just have list A and list B in two different points two different numbers of remap and here you go you can see that the results I'm going to change this to the curve you can change the number the best part is that you can change the number of the colors you want okay so I can go and just turn this off we'll have a simple one or maybe I just need the curves and I can change how much of the colors I need how much percent of the brightness I'm going to work this on okay and this is the next one you can change this so this is how it works and you can also use it for whatever you want you can maybe let's just give another example I'm going to save this file so you can uh, work on it okay let's turn this off and go for another one maybe we can just use this to extrude uh, let me have that logic here so I'm going to have this logic is it bigger or smaller than something and now we have two groups two set of points and what we can do here is maybe uh, we can just uh, have the panels here okay have these panels or whatever you want you can do anything so let's just have another so what I'm going to do is uh, let's just have another uh, practice or exercise we can have a rectangle here and let's just array this rectangle so we have a rectangular array I'm going to array this rectangle with uh, with its own cell okay let's just go to the maybe 30 to 30 okay now we are going to explain how I'm going to use the image sampler with the rectangular array so what we need is let's give this image sampler here and use the graphs we have the brightness okay we need a UV point so if I give an surface area and get the centroid uh, these centroids are an, uh, are in XYZ coordinate you can see uh, you can see here 32 97 and so on so these are not UV coordinate they are X and Y and Z coordinate so what we need is to have a CP surface we have going to go to the CP surface and project these points on a surface so how can we have the surface here we can have the again going to the surface and using the bounding box and have the bounding box from all of the rectangular arrays and don't forget to have the union box on so we have one box output here and the flat box and here we go we have to reparameterize the surface and we're good to go we have the UV coordinate and let's just connect this and here we can just turn this off and what about just uh, extruding them so I'm going to extrude these rectangles in the Z direction and using the image sampler so I'm going to give it a remap from 10 
to maybe 200. Okay, and here we go. And you can see that I'm just extruding these based on the uh, color we have here or the brightness we have here. We can also have a cap here and finish this tutorial and go to the cap holes. And let's just bake this. Okay. And here you can see that we can just easily produce uh, rectangles and boxes based on the image we are using. Okay. Got to change this. Let's see what happens. And here you can see that it just extrudes. Okay. And another one. So this is a tutorial about image sampler. Feel free to ask your questions in the comment section in YouTube channel or in the website and thank you for watching uh, if you have any commands which you don't understand or you think you need a tutorial about it feel free to ask and we will answer them in our Parametric House YouTube channel thank you for watching